look. Oh, sorry, I just hit Barney in the face. I'm sorry, bud. Hello, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. It is yet again the end of another month. We are welcoming March tomorrow, which is just crazy. Where is this year going? I feel like January was a slow month. January is always a long, slow month, isn't it? But then February just flew by. So, um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. At the end of, or start of every month, I like to do a bit, a bit of like a kind of reset. I'll share with you some monthly favorites at the end of the video and just to get stuff done, really. That's the plan today, anyway. I'm just in my comfies today. I'm just in this set that I got from Asda. It's so comfy, honestly. It's Sunday that I'm filming this. So I'm just, yeah, in my comfy Sunday clothes. We actually have a house full of builders today. So um, yeah, they're cracking on. Tom's cracking on with them upstairs, getting stuff done. So that's the kind of mindset we're in today. I have had a delivery of our HelloFresh box, which I got it yesterday, actually. So I wanted to show you guys some of the recipes we picked and also um, share with you a massive discount code, like massive discount code. So I will leave a link to HelloFresh in the description box below. And along with my discount code, you will get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. So firstly, thank you to HelloFresh for very kindly sharing that amazing offer with me to give to you guys. And secondly, if you're new to HelloFresh and have never used it before, then it's essentially a subscription service where you can get your weekly food, tailor it to you. So for us personally, we get three meals a week for two people. You can have a look online every week and make your selections or you can just simply be surprised and let them send you the selections that they send you without even knowing, which is quite a fun way to do actually if you're not fussy eaters. I'm a big fan of the rapid ones, the sort of 20 minute ones. We also look at the calorie smart options as well. I had to show you this one actually for last week. They did a Valentine's special, which was so delicious. Um, fillet steak, surf and turf with tomato, garlic, prawns, herby, roast potatoes and salad. So quite often they'll do like seasonal specials. I know into spring and summer they start to do some barbecue option. This is the one that we had last night. This was delicious. I've never had this one before. It was pork cofters with lemon fries. Who knew lemon chips work well together? So essentially you get the corresponding numbered bag with all your ingredients, all the kind of fresh ones go in the fridge, but you correspond it to the numbered card, recipe card, of which you can see an image of what it looks like, a breakdown of the ingredients, and then on the reverse, you've got the nutritional breakdown information, the step-by-step -step instructions, which make it so easy. If you're not someone who is a natural in the kitchen, then, like me, then it is, um, it's really straightforward, and yeah, you can learn some new cooking tips and tricks. It's also the convenience element, of course, like you've got the food delivered straight to your door, trying to decide what food you want is like the bane of my life having to like make that decision it's just taken away from you with the options delivered straight to your door there's no trawling through the supermarkets trying to decide what food you want for tonight tomorrow it's already here and all portions perfectly so yeah thank you to hellofresh for sponsoring today's video and of course don't forget to check out the link in my description box Use that discount code whilst it is on. It is such an amazing offer. Thank you to them for giving it to you guys and make sure to, um, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. And now is the time to do so with that offer. So anyway, I'm going to today, I've got a couple of like little update things to do. I have in this utility room, the steps I want to like repaint just, just to smarten them up. Of course, I've got some monthly favorites to share with you. And then I may even spill this video on to tomorrow whereby I've got, um, I've got like a yoga event, I've got lunch with the girls. There's no real method to this vlog other than I'm just picking up the camera, chatting to you guys. How is everyone? That's my first question. Rate in the comments how you're feeling out of 10 today. It doesn't matter if it's a two, there's always tomorrow. Amazing if it's a nine or 10. Let me know how you're feeling.
Right, I just wanted to bring you up to speed with things with the renovation so far. So since the last video, if you remember, the hole that was in the wall where the old extension was here has now clearly been built up, bordered, insulated. So this is ready now to be prepped as is the ceiling for plastering. And if we head into here, we've got um, the fireplace, the surround starting to be built or like put on and it is beautiful i absolutely love it if you also remember from our last vlog we had the chamber fitted incorrectly it was like a tile that we didn't like so we decided to get slabs like this so it's just individual kind of sections one two and three so that it i don't know it just looks nicer i think and then this limestone it is a slightly different texture but this uh, surround matches the hearth along the bottom so they're coming back in a couple of days to finish fitting that surround as well as the fire as well then the rest of this room has started to have um the insulation put in the ceilings the walls the windows fitted and all of the walls bordered as you can tell we've also had this section here finalized and bordered again ready for soon um plastering which obviously as well with the fireplace that one had to be plastered that section before the fireplace surround got fitted so that wall is actually already plastered and then they've just got a few final things to finish off in here we had to have this whole window section rebuilt because of the like wooden lintel at the top there wasn't supported by anything um, after replacing that window so there's an extra concrete lintel that's been put in there so that is all just drying now and ready to be finished boarded up we've also had the manifold put here this is for the underfloor heating that runs throughout the whole of downstairs the ground floor is the only place that we've had underfloor heating put in which means there's no kind of like radiators to fit or anything we've also had a stud wall added in here this is going to be a kind of like a really random cupboard space that we kind of need to keep the door this used to be the back door uh, but obviously now that we've got the new crystal doors at the back we'll probably never use this so we'll probably just have this as a kind of storage cupboard area maybe even for like excess coats and shoes and stuff in there the more storage that you have the better so yeah this wall is going to have like a floor to ceiling like kind of bookshelf area and then if we go back through here then you can see through here the flooring and they've just put this like temporary ply down just to help protect the pipes but you can see how all of the pipes have been fit so all of these will have like obviously water in to um heat the flooring flooring is ready to be ordered fitted that's where the island's going to be going and then as soon as the flooring's done that's when the rest of the kitchen can be finished off and then this other side to the room will be the downstairs loo so we'll see all the plumbing's first fixed plumbing and electrics has been done but um yeah it's it's a very snug room i'm not gonna lie there's gonna be a toilet along here and like with the back against there because that's going to run through that cupboard space outside and then maybe like hooks or something for coats or maybe if we want to keep it clutter free maybe a, a piece of artwork or something i'm not really not really sure what to put on this wall let me know any thoughts that you might have i might do like paneling in here and then this is going to be where the vanity is going to go so if i come in you'll be able to see we are going to have like a vanity here and then a mirror on the wall with lighting either side so in here rather than spots we've gone for a single hanging pendant and wall lights we're also not sure whether or not to tile this space or to have the same herringbone lvt flooring in here as well so yeah that is yet a decision another decision that we need to make but that is how the house is looking to date just got back for a little outing with barney we actually went to will coats because they're dog friendly if you didn't know so i needed to stock up on some like cleaning bits and bobs um seeing as though terry's is now closed has anyone else seen that they messed or they emailed me um as they sort of like when they announced it so i knew i knew it was closed loads of people messaged me being like oh my god terry's is closed um so anyway i just stocked up on a couple of bits i've got these are on offer actually these um need some more fabric conditioner i quite like the outdoor balls ones and i'll just pop it kind of decant it into my rosemary and thyme neptune one which sits up on this shelf there i also got a stock up of our toilet bleach the harpic pineapple 
three of those. I did get us some sweet treats for today. I got these, which I've never tried before. In fact, should we try one now? White chocolate truffle flowers. It's a chocolate gift card. And then the cookie crumble. I bought, um, we had an Easter egg. An early Easter egg. It was the Galaxy Cookie Crumble, which we've never had before. And it was delicious. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So that's what the image looks like. And this is how tiny they are. They're so small. I thought they were going to be much bigger than that. Mmm. Tastes like the Kinder Bars. Got some compacts. And then I got some fairy pods i kind of switch up how i do my washing but i do like fairy because it's uh the non-bio and it's just good for sensitive skin a couple of random toiletry bits which i need to take upstairs but then i also got this which i thought was quite cute it was only three pounds and it's a little wooden easter garland which obviously can be stored away year in year out and even if you don't have it out like you know throughout the entire spring home decor but just for like easter weekend or like if you've got kids maybe it's a bit more child friendly and it's just plain wooden on a jute i quite like the fact that it's plain i mean you could i guess paint it if you wanted to but yeah just plain wooden happy easter Can you hear the builders upstairs they're making quite the racket so yeah i'm just gonna have a bit of a reshuffle and organize with my cleaning stuff now to talk you through my plans with these steps leading in from the outside into our basement into the utility room. I know I mentioned I wanted to do a bit of a DIY, just freshen them up. As you can see, all the edges, all the old paint, and it was never really properly finished off, and it still isn't because I want to potentially put some kind of like carpet down or doormat material down. But for now, I got this satin interior paint from B&Q. It was a bit more purpley than I'd like, but for the sake of just smartening up these steps, I just stuck with it mixed it up it's kind of similar brown to the flooring but it was just like i said a bit more of a purple tinge to it but either way it's looking a lot neater and fresher and cleaner for now on my part for vlogging because my camera died mm, this is good i decided to get one of these on route out from the bar it's like a green detox with added protein now i'm not someone who necessarily has protein so i might up it within my regime i feel like i definitely slack on the protein front 
but that was such a lovely event. I had a quick tour of the spa. Did have access to the spa today, but I'm gonna have to get back for the builders and for Barney, which is such a shame because I would have loved to have spent an extra hour or two just pampering myself in the um, spa facilities. But nonetheless, great event, lovely yoga session. Really, really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, now I'm gonna head back home, drink this, walk the dog. We got given a... Um, new this is not the angle to show it but from my proteins this long sleeve like a crossover like sports bra and leggings lovely and comfy they came in a few different colors you may have seen from clips from the yoga but there was like a blue a green I loved the green as well and then this one which they know me well this would have been my first choice um but yeah such a lovely event i didn't realize that my protein and sort of like the hut group owned hail country spa. what's it called hail country club and spa but it's lovely it's very fancy i will say that it's kind of expensive but it is a real treat and for us it's literally 10 minutes down the road so it's so easy to get here and i was looking at potentially soho house membership in the summer but i might be tempted for this instead maybe because i feel like this is on my doorstop do i really want to drive into town to go to do a workout or go chill out in the spa i don't know i don't know but this is a real treat this is maybe like a future plan um to maybe come here one day but yeah lovely event thank you so much to the team for having me i've got um lunch with the girls as well uh tomorrow so i'll maybe vlog some clips of that We've gone slick back hair up today. What are we thinking? Um, I'm just heading out to Manchester to meet with some girls for a nice lunch, girly works lunch, I'm gonna say, because they're all within this industry. So we try and make an effort every once in a while to meet up, chat things about work life, personal life. We're just friends that happen to be in the same industry and that all work by ourselves. So it's quite nice to do these things to like, I don't know, just get socializing. But yes, I'm out of breath. Um, so we're gonna go to San Carlos in Selfridges. So it's nice and easy for me to just drive there, park up at their car park, head on into lunch, and then I'm gonna be straight back here to help the builders out. We've got quite a few builders in today that needs like just, they need someone here really, and the dogs here as well. So I don't wanna to spend too long out of the house. Um, so he is in bed with a yummy treat. I'm gonna head out. I'll show you my outfit quickly. Excuse all the mess in the background. I've been doing loads of like TikTok videos, reels, getting loads of content and sorting through, through things as well ahead of the ground floor being finished. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. And I've got my YSL Lulu small bag on. Then I've got my Frankie Shop blazer on, which is a really like oversized fit. This is a small. And then I just have like a H&M basic knit vest on some Ana Luisa jewelry and just my Lululemon leggings and my Anina Bing trainers nice and comfy comfy smart cash hair up like I said steward wash didn't have time so that is the look for today let's go have some lunch and then when I get back home I'll show you what we got yesterday as well from Espar my protein Back home with this munchkin. Hello. Oh, that's a big, big cuddle and a big, big back scratch. <laughs> you follow him, mummy. I think he is ready to go out for a WALK. Um, I've just got back. I'm going to get changed. It's freezing, so I'm gonna put on something cozy and warm. A big, nice, chunky hoodie, put on a coat. But before I do that, I thought I would just quickly share with you, like I said I would, uh, the Espar My Protein bits that we got yesterday. Honestly, really tempted to now get potentially some kind of membership at that Hail Country Club. It is lovely. I've got some My Vitamins Multivitamin Gummies. Gummies, I had one of these yesterday. I've not had these in a while and they are really delicious, honestly. Tempted to buy some more. So, I have my one for today. I usually have them in the morning, but oh well. And then we've also got from Invisible again, a collaboration with My Protein. They've done a few scrunchies. Got a little water bottle, the, um, some My Protein bits, some whey powder, some um, 
protein crispy wafers 15 grams of protein wow and then this one is 20 grams and 2.7 sugars it's an easter egg oh i might have this for my dessert tonight a layered treat without the cheat easter egg flavor that sounds fantastic i'm not gonna lie and then Espar, i love Espar beauty products they just smell so good all of them honestly this restorative atmosphere mist i've had this before it's really good if you are into practicing yoga or any kind of mindfulness meditation you just want to chill out at night the atmosphere mist is really good to spritz in your space whenever you're there so for yoga it's nice to just spritz it along your mat take a couple of breaths before kind of like starting your yoga and it just honestly smells amazing it's quite a big size as well so it lasts a long while and then these two products i've not tried before but i am very intrigued too so this one first and foremost is the fitness shower gel so it's a cleansing shower gel to refresh the body revitalize the mind i can imagine this is a really good one in a morning or like after a workout shower and then a, sh a shower after a workout yeah and then i also got this which is called the Muscle Rescue Balm. I've not tried this one before, but I have tried one from Mio Skincare, which is also another uh, brand under this umbrella, but they do one and it, it works. It's amazing. So hopefully this will work as well. Kind of like self, well, if it's the same as the other one, it self soothes and like kind of heats almost. I'm gonna head off for a walk. It's looking pretty miserable out there. It's cold, wet and windy. So this is my favorite kind of walk, yay. Go for a W-A, okay. I could say walk and he wouldn't even react. He's reacted. No, but usually, like if I said you want to go for a walk, he usually never reacts. Should we go for a walk? Do you want to go for walkies? Should we go for a walk? See, he's listening, he understands, he just, He's almost like, it's too good to be true. Should we go for a walk, Barney? <gasps> Come on then. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> it's the high pitch <laughs> that seems to do it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> with you some monthly favorites from the month of february i'm just gonna shove my hair up in like a messy bun for now um so yeah as always with my kind of monthly reset videos as i mentioned at the start of this video i like to share with you some monthly favorites from the previous month so i've got a few things to mention some tv some um cleaning products some beauty bits let's start with a book actually because this is something that i have had i think i recommended it in a gift guide for christmas like as a stocking filler or something never actually kind of like properly read it until the other day I was just lying in bed and i thought oh let me pick up this and it's really good it's called how to find joy in five minutes a day just a nice little small book inspiring ideas to boost your mood every day it's a very easy read and it's broken down into these different segments of happy mornings happy days happy evenings and happily ever after so yeah it's just a nice easy read i'm halfway through i'm just about to start looking at more of the yeah happy endings i'll leave a link to that in the description box below along with these other bits if i can find them online the next thing i'm going to share with you a cleaning product and it's something that i did an instagram and tiktok um video for and it is using these kind of like a little hack if you're an aesthetic type of person where you like things to look nice these in wash scent boosters that they do the fairy ones are actually white so when decanted they look really nice obviously a lot of lenore unstoppables and everything are like bright yellow bright blue these ones, which I use very in my wash anyway, so these ones, because they're white, I decided to decant them into this acacia wooded jar. You can just pick these up from like B&M, Zara, um, Primark. They smell amazing. 
that is one thing I do love the fairy scent the other cleaning product that I wanted to mention this is my last one I bought a few of these um, in the kind of like Christmas period I think they were a festive find I do see them on the odd occasion still in shops and I don't think they're that festive if I'm being completely honest vanilla and amber as a flora they've got um loads of new products out of flora they've got like candles car air fresheners I just don't think they've nailed it with the branding I feel like they could have gone much more like on trend of the whole aesthetic looking cleaning products and stuff like I, I feel like they're very like harsh bold ugly colors if i'm being completely honest so like the candles they've they've done them in like three tiers and i just they don't look nice they don't look nice that's all i'm gonna say this vanilla and amber scent this is the last one that i've got so i'm like using it sparingly but i should just use it up and if i can see more in store i will get them but it's kind of like a masculine the vanilla-y kind of amber masculine fragrance it's very rich and warm and yeah so i've been loving using that i feel like once that's done though i'll probably move on to some more springtime scents with spring around the corner some beauty products that i've been trying and loving you may have seen from my last vlog my finland vlog when i brought you guys to lapland with me my fragrance of the trip was this one which i pulled out of my fragrance drawer having not really used it properly from bjork and berries in white forest and that now, this scent is just gonna stay with me as the fragrance of Finland. I love using a new fragrance for each trip that I go on just because it kind of like, close my eyes and it takes me back to that place. I've also found like with the winter, the cold weather, getting quite dry skin. So I've been using this. I've just kept it in my bedside drawer and it's from m &S. It's the hand creams that they do. This one is in the Restore scent, but they do do different uh, scents. But this one is Geranium Eucalyptus Cedarwood. And yeah, it just feels really nourishing. Again, love the aesthetics of the branding, the packaging. I feel like m and do fragrance really well and they've kind of carried that through into beauty products as well. This is new to my beauty routine. It's just a once in a while thing. I've not used it. I think I've only done it three times, but it's these new Nutriize. They're called Instantly Nourishing and Soothing Hydrogel Patches from Pixie Beauty. Open the lid, pull out the gel patches, pop them under your eyes and they just feel lovely. I mean, what they do, who knows whether or not they work. For me, they feel lovely. And it was really good after getting back from Finland, like a post-flight, like kind of just hydration on my face. L'Oreal very kindly sent me two new mascaras. This is a new take on the telescopic mascara that they released. They've also done the telescopic lift now. So I've used this one a couple of times. The telescopic one, I'm a fan of anyway. If I just show you the wand of this one, the bottom one is the original telescopic one and you can see the new lift one. It's got like a bit of a curve to it. You see it's flat on one side. It's got a bit more of a curve to it and also it is a little bit thicker. I think I prefer it to the original telescopic and this is a good one, especially for bottom lashes. I feel like sometimes if you have a really nice thin one like that, it's really good for bottom lashes. But yeah, I do think the new one tops it i think i prefer it to the original another beauty product i've been using it's a little bit dirty but uh, uh, new to my makeup routine is this from hourglass i was out with my morphe setting spray which i'm not gonna lie i prefer it to this however when i went to purchase it before going away and i needed a setting spray the place i went didn't have it was john lewis i went to and it didn't have morphe i've liked their primer and their setting powder in the past so i thought let me try their setting spray it's not the cheapest um, it is lovely. It's a very fine mist. If you can hear that, it feels lovely. If you want to kind of treat yourself and if you don't like that continuous mist, this feels a lot lighter than the Morphe one. And then the last of the beauty products that I have to share with you are these, new to the market from Batiste. I have been a fan of Batiste dry shampoo for the longest time, since I was in school. I remember reading Ms. magazines back in the day, back in school, and I remember seeing an advert for Batiste dry shampoo, and my friend saying, oh yeah, I've used that, it's really good. I tried it, and literally ever since that day, and that was, that wasn't even senior school either. So I must have been about 13 at the time of getting that. So ever since then, so I'm 31 now, 
not even just like a round number of 30, like I'm in my 30s now. Anyway, 31, so that makes it 18 years I've been using it. They've now recently brought out the leave and dry conditioner. This is the original fragrance. I prefer the original to the tropical. Use dry shampoo in the roots, and this is more um, using it for the like the lengths of your hair. So if you've got longer hair like myself, then I think you will love this, especially if you're already a fan of the original dry shampoo. Rub between your palms to activate the formula. You then run your hands through the lengths of your ends of your dry hair. This is good for like after you've styled it, if you just want to like run it through, just to give it that kind of conditioned shiny healthy look which I feel like especially blondes can struggle with I've noted down some things that I've been watching and loving firstly who's seen the new season of you and who's anticipating the release of the second part which I hate it when Netflix do that but they've done it in two parts I think the new one's coming out 9th of March oh before I speak TV let me mention this to you something that I did uh, Tom had been wanting to do it for a while and I'd seen it on TikTok and I thought let me try that and I mentioned it to Tom I said have you ever heard of a deprivation tank floating tank and he was like yes I wanted to do it so we booked in a place in Altrincham not too far from us and it's called zero gravity and you essentially go and float in an Epsom salt bath for an hour. And I thought an hour was gonna be too long, I thought I was gonna get bored. I think by the time I fully relaxed, the time then seemed to fly by, and you literally do just simply float in a tank and just fully zone out. You can't hear a thing. They start with music, like kind of like relaxing music, that after about 10 minutes it fades out. Same with the lights, you can have lights on in the tank, like mood lighting, however you can turn them off. So I turned them off, shut the tank, you can leave it open if you want, but I shut it. So I was fully in pitch black darkness, floating. And you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of Stranger Things. You know when she can like connect to other people and especially in the first seasons where she starts floating to be able to fully like at her body temperature that's what it reminded me of definitely would do it again maybe not on the regular i feel like i'd do it once in a blue moon if i feel like i just need to switch off maybe book in for a massage that they do there beforehand and then go and do that afterwards if everything's getting a bit on top of me i feel like it's a good way to fully switch off and speaking of like switching off i've been doing yoga weekly i did started with the aerial yoga which i did a few weeks back and then i had a couple of weeks of events at actually that happened to both be yoga events so that was kind of like spread out and then obviously at home yoga there's a girl called I think it's yoga with Adrienne and she's got a dog she does like a 30 day yoga program but she also does other yo yoga classes on her YouTube video and because she's got the dog there obviously that just melts my heart but I do want to get into going more regularly to classes because I feel like that's something that I'm lacking is that kind of social element of being in a room with other people. I even thought about doing, you know, you can find like group meditation classes because that type of yoga I like is the yin yoga where you fully switch off. Yoga nidra I think is another practice of that kind of yoga as well where it's less about like let's do a workout and it's more about switching off. I've also been taking these which I thought I would mention as well. I got these from Costco and they're called ashwagandha probably not pronouncing that very well. Take two tablets daily with water, so it helps resist stress, boost mental and physical well-being, stamina, energy, and vitality. It's Indian ginseng, basically. It's nature's offering, improves body's resistance to modern stress. It combines the whole root powder and concentrated root extract to capture the full range of the phytonutrients that are naturally occurring in ashwagandha. So it's all a bit like self-love, mindfulness practice. Those are the sort of things that I've been loving throughout 2023. I just think it's mentally very beneficial to do these little things, whether it be journaling, going for a run every once in a while. I've been going out with Barney. I went yesterday for a 5K run. It feels good to just get your body moving. Anyway, back to TV and a couple of things that I've been watching. So yeah, obviously a new season of You. Um, what else did I watch the other day that I thought, oh, I'll mention? It was a documentary about um, on Netflix about a family. It was like a true crime. The Murdoch Murders, and it's three parts. Really interesting. 
so yeah well worth watching that if you want a laugh we've been watching the jeremy clarkson farm the new series on amazon prime it's done a season two and it's just so funny we also watched a documentary on bbc iplayer about andrew tate and his kind of like downfall and then the last thing that i wanted to mention i actually had one this morning as well is from cafe nero and it's the caramelized biscuit latte that they now do i have a decaf but it's made with oat milk as well which i love and it is a treat it is quite sweet but it's kind of got that like spiciness to it you know when you have like a lotus biscoff or a ginger biscuit it's kind of got like a spiciness to it so if you like that from cafe nero thumbs up from me and yeah that is all my favorites that i wanted to mention i think this is my favorite just things like this just please me far too greatly. So there we have it guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Hope you have enjoyed it. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to HelloFresh again for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out that offer via the link in my description box and using my discount code, you can get 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight boxes. So yeah, now is the time to try it if you haven't already. Thanks to you guys for very kindly supporting me and my channel and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.